Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Just Do Me. If you guys want to find out how I went from this to this, keep on watching. Looking good. I'm feeling good. Eh? <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I mean we just do me and yes, this is a crazy look we got going on today, but this is real. This is really how I be starting my day looking like. So I wanted to show you guys how I style my hair from A to Z. Oh my god, it's so matted. But don't worry, we're gonna sort it all out. I'm gonna show you guys how I go from basic a baddie and this is pretty much what I wake up most days looking like just keeping it real <laughs> so I'm just gonna like sort my natural hair out first of all and then I'll show you guys how I'm about to lay and install my wigs this is the wig that I'm wearing at the moment it's really really cute it's from West Kiss Hair 24 inches body wave we're about to lay and install it, do the baby hairs, do everything. So if you guys want to know how I go from <laughs> crazy to like <laughs> cutie, keep on watching this video and all the hair info will of course be linked in my description box. Yeah, okay, let's do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz it with water because that's going to make it easier to detangle. I've been trying to grow it out. I feel like it is growing out, but I feel like it's also breaking quite a lot. So it's not growing as full as I'd like. But hey, at least it's growing. Get a brush all the way through this. I just go through with a bit of oil. It's got moisture in it because I put the water in, but a bit of oil to smooth in the hair. And to hopefully stop it drying out too quickly. That is the problem with natural hair always dry a few squirts I just use my fingers to really massage that through my natural hair once that's through I'm gonna take a little black hair tie and tie my hair into my natural hair into a low ponytail I do a low ponytail instead of a higher one so I don't have a bump on the wig high up a little bit of a brushing and I always put it into a little bit of a bun to protect the tips so there we go you can barely see any natural hair now this is in the bun so the hair is protected. To separate the hair, I'm going to actually be laying. So like that. That's as much of the baby hair as I'll do. It doesn't really need to be done perfectly because of course you are still going to wear your wig. I'm going to start laying my natural baby hairs. And it's not going to lay as well as with the wig because my hair is very natural on my edges. But anyway, I'm just going to drag the mousse through my natural hair with a toothbrush until it's all the way through and wet. So there you have it, my baby hairs are laid, my natural hair, and it's time to put my wig on. If you find that your natural hair is not lying as flat as you'd like, you can obviously go through with some mousse to hold it down in place, but I'm pretty happy with this. Okay guys, so it's time to lay my wig. So I basically just put it on first and really just align where I want everything to be. Here I figure out how far forward on my head I want the wig to lie. I'm going to slide this back a little bit. Careful with my baby hairs. Make sure they're not coming undone. So you can turn it inside out or you can just push it back. I think I'm just going to push it back. And then go in with my got to be. 
what I do to try and avoid spraying this in my natural hairline because if I attach the lace to my hairline when it's coming off it might steal <laughs> my edges so I just use a finger to just cover my hairline and then I spray so that should just be right in front of my hairline luckily your girl's got a big forehead so shouldn't matter too much I use my fingers to dab it in covering quite a bit of surface area I can bring it lower down onto my forehead as well it doesn't matter if it comes beyond where the wig is meant to be because you can just use um, put a little bit here you can just use a baby wipe to clean it up afterwards make sure you use a fair amount so that it sticks down and holds so you don't put the wig down straight away you wait for it to get a little bit tacky for the most part I've put the spray away from my hairline and then I've got a cloth it's got quite a bit of makeup on it don't watch that but a cloth like this a long a thin cloth is what I use to wrap the lace so letting it get a bit tackier and then I'm gonna slide the lace down to where I want it to be I just make sure I'm happy with where the hair begins. It looks pretty good for me. Pretty happy. And I just hold that in place with one finger and make sure I'm happy with where the rest of the hair is lying. Just pressing down with my other fingers here. Just make sure you're as forward as you need to be. You'll see it's starting to dry down already. Don't really need to use my fingers but I will keep them there just to make sure it doesn't start sliding backwards because that's something that can happen so yeah well comb and really just massage the edges of the lace down into the spray massage massage down into the spray I just do a double knot in the front. Okay, so I usually leave that for about 15 minutes minimum, but because most of the time once this is done, I start doing my makeup. It's usually about a good 30 minutes before I actually end up taking the scarf off. So I'm going to do my makeup off camera. I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you how well that laid. I'm going to show you how I clean up the hairline and how I lay the baby hairs for the wig as well. So I'll catch you guys in a few. Hey guys, so I finished doing my makeup off camera and that was like a good 30 to 40 minutes. So my hair should definitely be fully laid by now and usually I find this is more than enough to get me through, you know, a good 12 hour day. Possibly longer sometimes, it won't even come off at night and I just leave it on and I sleep in the wig. So yep, you guys can see that is stuck down. Clean that up with a baby wipe. Just go across the hairline and just wipe any excess hairspray. Remove any white particles and residue. Okay, it's done. Right there as well. Yes. So you have to remove this because that bit doesn't have any makeup on. So, and by the way, I would always do this before I do my makeup because what you'll find is that that excess hairspray and residue, once it gets on your makeup, it just doesn't look right. People can definitely tell you wearing a wig because it has been like that line of residue. So I take that off so that when I do my makeup, it isn't sitting under it and making things look whack. it's time to get the hair looking bomb so you can probably see that this side of the hair is sticking up more than the left side so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with a bit of mousse on my little tray and just use my toothbrush again and drag it through the lumpy bumpy side to hold it down I don't do this on my actual face, I hold it in my hands and do it. That way my makeup stays intact. I don't have lots of product rubbing across my foundation, messing things up. 
So you guys can kind of see the length that I cut my baby hair. It's usually about an inch to an inch and a half and it gets longer as we go down the side of the wig. So I usually start on my right side but you can start on any side and I start not in the centre parting but I start a little bit to my left and just grab a bit of this hair, pull it over. Start laying. Drag and sweep across my finger. Like that. And I push the rest of the hair into the rest of the wig. there you have it guys that's pretty much how I lay and style my hair from start to finish and slay my baby hairs hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up let me know how I did and if you've got any tips and tricks to help me out because I'm no expert I've just learned little things I've learned along the way feel free to drop them in that comment section for the rest of the girls who are looking to learn how to slay their wigs so it looks so good I'm definitely loving it. We're looking good, feeling good. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Shout out to West Kids Hair. This hair is bomb.com. You guys are giving me so many compliments on it. Easy to customize, easy to slay. Body wave be popping. See you soon. Looking good, feeling good, eh?